Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Jess, back at it again. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget, click the bell, get notified, join this journey, share with everyone you know, so they can be in this crazy-ass place with us. Yep. And give it a like, because it helps your girl's channel out so much, and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. If you hear a bunch of noise, there's some construction going on that I have no control of. So let's get started. Jump into the next clip. So now we're going in with the Bare Minerals Combo Control. It's the Milky Face Primer Balance. I keep wanting to say multi. I don't know why. No idea. None. Okay. So this is going everywhere on my face. And I'm not talking the same. I am moisturizing my face with it. Kind of. So this goes everywhere. And the other day I purchased this. It's the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. This one. And... This one, I mainly put it on my T-zone. It has rice complex in it. It will turn into a powder. And this one I cut in. So I went to Walmart last night, and I always peruse the makeup out. I saw this Hard Candy 12-hour brightening setting spray, vitamin C, rose water, 12-hour long wear, and hydrating. So these are like a new line. They have a matte. And I'm going to spray my face with this before we begin. Okay, so it smells okay. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big rose water lover. I know a lot of people out there are, but I'm not. So, but it felt really good. And it's not drying or anything. I mean, I don't see any brightening. But, you know, maybe when my makeup is done, and who knows, maybe there is brightening. And I just can't see it. All right. So we're going to jump into, you know, guys, who knows? I know. I know you know. These. Mm. So we're going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer HD in orange. All right, I'm going to go in with my little Eco Tools little blender here and just pounce that in. Okay, so whatever was left on the sponge, because I really press it in, I go and I put it where I have discoloration, anywhere else, but very lightly, because I'm not wearing makeup like that today. No foundation, at least today. So I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. Okay, I know I look funny. Don't worry. I'm not staying like this, hopefully. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go in with the Rimmel London Good to Glow. This is their highlighter illuminator in 003. This is Soho Glow. And I'm going to use their hashtag Insta Flawless Perfecting Radiance Skin Tint. This is the skin tint. The highlighter. So I'm going to mix it first on the back of my hand. I'm gonna grab a little of the yellow, same pro concealer but in yellow, just a little. So I'm gonna put it there because a lot of it comes out. I look at the cricket line, the cricket dot. Now I'm gonna grab my Wet n Wild. This is the cushion contour. All right, so now I'm gonna grab this. We got in our boxy charm too. I got my boxy charm super late, so this is the Alouette Cheek and Lip Tint. For my face, I'm gonna go in with the Pro Glow, the L'Oreal Infallible Powder. I'm in 25 Sand Beige. All right, guys. So I took a minute and I did my eyebrows real quick. Uh, I'm going to go in and I'm going to set my under eyes, so I'm just going to make sure there's no creases, everything is smooth, and with my LA Girl Pro Banana Powder. Hmm. My eyes. Duh. <laughs> I'm going to set these lids.
I'm wearing a green top. See that? Pretty green. So I'm going to use my subculture palette. I am going to grab a large shader brush, and this is from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to start with Dawn, which is that color. All right, guys, so now that I have Dawn all over my lid, all right, I'm going to go in with Untamed, and I'm going to keep my eye open, right? And I'm going to place that right on the crease, but with my eye open, so I can see where that shadow's going. And then bringing it in. And then I can close my eyes, and I know it looks weird like that. I can start blending that in. All right, so now I'm gonna grab this NYX fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna go around the edges. And now I'm taking Access, which is that green right there, and I'm putting it right on top of Untamed, but just on the corner, and I'm keeping it low. And I'm more so packing it on. I'm not like buffing it on and then I'm just going in small circular motions. And I'm keeping it right there. You know, a lot of people said that um, these colors are like real muddy and gray and they don't blend well and they're patchy. And honestly, like I said, these remind me of a pigment rather than just like a regular eyeshadow. And I don't think that it should be treated like a regular eyeshadow. Um, and I get it that people, you know, it's in a regular eyeshadow thing and it's not in a pigment tub and I don't see no patchiness. Do you guys? Nope. All right, now I'm going to go back in with that NYX brush and just very lightly blend the edges off. And now I'm going to grab just a tiny bit of edge, that yellow, little, little, little bits. I've got my M liner, so I'm going to shake this puppy up. And we're gonna wing our eyes. Cube is going above my liner very carefully. And my inner corner electric on top of cube. That is so pretty. I'm gonna put on some number seven. This is the Tubi mascara. And I'm putting this on because I'm gonna put lashes. And I just don't wanna put um, a waterproof on my top lashes. I'd rather put the tubing. So I'm gonna grab my Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencil in black and I'm gonna put this on my tight line Okie dokie, so I started bringing it in but I didn't want to finish until I got back so I'm only gonna do because I feel like It's gonna become way too intense if I continue I'm only gonna put it on my lash line and on my waterline, but in the inner parts are there all right, so now I'm gonna grab that palette. I'm gonna go into Untamed and press that right on that eyeliner on the outside. See that? And now I'm gonna go ahead and press Axis. Same thing, right on top. Okay, so now this is a Wet n Wild little buffing brush. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of that uh, edge color, the yellow color right there. We used on top and go right on the edge of this. Go oh, get it, edge, edge. Okay, I have this Essence Gel Liner. And it's a waterproof. And this is in the shade, I hate when I can't find the shades of these. This is Urban Jungle. And Urban Jungle, I'm going to put it in my the rest of my waterline. And I'm not buffing that out. That's going to stay like that. The only thing I am going to do is I'm gonna grab that lip brush 
And I'm going to take electric and just kind of run it out a little. Brighten this up more. Yes, darling. So now I'm going to put on my Ardell 600 Black Wispy Lashes. And these are the ones, guys. I'm going in with my, this is the Revlon uh, Dramatic Definition in black. I love this. I don't know what I told you guys. Maybe all the time. That's what's going on the bottom lashes. It's waterproof, by the way. This is my Laura Geller Sunset Glow Compact, which I really, really like. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab that stippling brush. I'm going to go into that blush. You see how it's a trio? Go into that blush. I just want to give myself a little bit more blush for no reason. Look at these lashes, guys. Aren't these fabulous? I love these. I'm going okay. in with this um, dual fiber contour brush, and I'm going into the contour shade right there. I usually put things in a certain place, and I'm like, yeah, that's the place. Yeah, that's going to be the place. Yeah. And then the next day or the next few days, you're going bananas looking for it. Does that happen to you? That happens to me a lot. And then I start questioning, you know, like, should I put it there? Should I put it there? Instead of, ah, it's just annoying. Okay, so I just cleaned my rose gold highlighter brush, and I'm going to go into that highlighter right there. And just apply a little. I like to tap everything on first. Like, I tap everything on. And then I usually go in and, Because then the product is already there. And then I blend it in. So now I'm done. Spray. So there we go. Now we're going to put on lipstick. And we're out of here, baby. Okie dokie, Smokey. And now we're going to go in. This is an ultra satin. Now I'm going to go in with my buxom lip gloss. In Melissa, this is my lump bluffing, loving, 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 loving lip gloss. Let's do this so we can get on with this video. I will leave everything listed down in the description bar below. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them. You know where, you know what, you know how. And I will see you soon. All right, guys, until next time. Oh, by the way, I'm about the subculture palette. Like, guys, it's more like a pigment. So, yes, we can go in there and, like, dab our brush in there and, you know, you can't do that in the pigment either because they're loose and they're very pigmented and, you know, it, it, it'll turn into crap. But, uh, like I said, when I bought it, I watched videos. Everybody was talking about how, you know, a lot of the shadows get muddy. You can't blend this and that and this and that. So, what I did when I got my subculture palette, I sat down and I grabbed a bunch of brushes and I started playing around with all the shades, like mixing and matching, mixing and matching. And yes, some of them did get muddy when you blended them, either, you know, too close together or you overlapped them. But I played with it. I didn't come on right away and, you know, start putting it on my eyes and looking like a hot mess. Not. And it's like, to me, they're attacking that palette for no reason at all. It's your choice. Do you, boo-boo. Do you? I love it. And that's all that matters. It's what you do. Um, so, I leave you with that. Do you remember, guys? You remember? I love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye, YouTube.